What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're at the 370 Lakeside RV Park. We're gonna be checking out the Hughes Autoformer. It's gonna be a 30 amp voltage booster and surge protector. First up, what is a voltage booster and why would you need one? Well, a voltage booster is gonna be used to help boost voltage for your rig. So let's say it's a hot summer day, there's a bunch of RVs at the park, everybody's using the power, there's only so much power. So if you have everybody running ACs on a hot day like that at a packed park, it's gonna drop voltage somewhere. It's only so much power, like I said. This is gonna boost that back up so it doesn't go in that low dangerous area where it could damage your rig. Recommended safe voltage for your rig is 108 to 132 volts. Now, when it gets to the low end, around 113, it's gonna kick in and give you that 10% boost. And if it drops to about 90 volts, it's just gonna shut off completely, protecting your rig. You can look at the autoformer and see if it's gonna be boosting or not. This lights up green when it is kicked in and is boosting the voltage. But it's not just about boosting. And also, you have these lights here. And when you plug this into your shore power, it's gonna get three green lights and let you know it's gonna check that power, make sure it's safe to even plug your rig in. So that's awesome to be able to Take a look at this before you can plug anything in. That way you know ahead of time if it's okay or not. If you don't get all three green lights, that means there's gonna be something wrong with the power on the shore. So that way you can come down here and whatever key code you get, so whatever combination of colors of lights that aren't all green, is gonna tell you exactly what's wrong with that power source so you can check it out before you plug anything in. It also acts as a surge protector. That way, if there's some kind of power surge, it's gonna protect your rig from that. It protects all the way up to 2,400 joules. If you get one of those big surges and it fries the board on the inside, you don't have to buy a whole new unit. It's nice that you can actually replace the board on the inside yourself. So what you'd have to do is draw out these rivets. There's two on the side, one on the front, then you can pop that top off and drop that board in there and plug it back in. Now, Hughes does offer a kit to help you do that. It'll come with a drill bit to help you drill that out and the replacement screws to put this all back together. We went ahead and drilled it out already, so I'm just gonna loosen the screws and we'll open it up. With the screws removed, we're gonna pop the top off and take a look at the inside. I'm gonna tilt it your way. So the replacement part you're gonna get is gonna be this box here, this module, and then you'll replace this front board. So it's the one with the lights on it. You can see you have some nuts down there. You just get a wrench. Loosen those, you can slide that board out along with this module and replace those parts. Now let's go over some of the accessories you can get. It comes with the cable lock. You saw that earlier. We had it locked to the shore power. That way nobody can mess with it when you're not around. You also have a stand you can get. Now this is sold separately, but you can set it down in there. That way it sits a little bit better here on the ground or if it's muddy ground or raining, this is going to get it up off that rain or mud. You don't have to worry about getting this thing all nasty and dirty. You also have a cover. If it is raining, you just put this over the top. It'll go around the cables on the sides. You just redo the hook and loop on both sides of those cables. And it sits over there just like that and protects it from the rain. Now there's another option. If you want a place for it to stay while you're driving and you're not using it, you can put it inside. There is a bracket you can buy that'll go on the floor and it has some straps that come over and lock it in place. That way it stays put when you're driving around. Overall though, I think this is a good addition to your rig. It's gonna protect against that voltage, dips or going up, or also protect against surges. So, you know, you're not gonna damage anything on the rig and that's way better to replace something like this than something in here. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.